Today, we're going to explore how to use proxies with Axios for web scraping. Using proxies can help you mask your IP address, avoid IP bans, and maintain the integrity of your application. Let's dive in and see how you can easily set up proxies in Axios. What is Axios, and why do you need a proxy? Axios is one of the most widely used HTTP clients in the JavaScript ecosystem. It offers a promise-based, easy-to-use, intuitive API for performing HTTP requests. Using proxies with Axios helps mask your IP address, making it more challenging for target servers to identify and block you, thus avoiding IP bans or restrictions. Using a proxy in Axios. Prerequisites. First, ensure the Axios NPM package is installed. Add it to your project's dependencies with this. In Node.js, Axios natively supports HTTP and HTTPS proxies via the proxy config. So, if you want to use HTTP slash HTTPS proxies with Axios in a Node.js application, you are ready to go. If instead you want to use a non-HTTP S proxy, you need to rely on the Proxy Agents project. This provides HTTP.agent implementations to integrate Axios with proxies in different protocols. In detail, the different NPM libraries exposed by the project categorized by the protocol are as shown here. Amazing! You're ready to set up proxies in Axios. HTTP slash HTTPS proxies. This is what the URL of your HTTP slash HTTPS proxies should look like. Proxy protocol will be HTTP for HTTP proxies and HTTPS for HTTPS proxies. Proxy host is generally a raw IP, while proxy port is the port the proxy server listens to. For example, suppose this is the URL of your HTTP proxy. You can set this proxy in Axios as follows. Let's verify the above Axios proxy approach works. Retrieve the URL from an HTTP or HTTPS proxy server for free online. For example, take a look at this one. To verify that the proxy works as expected, you can target the slash IP endpoint from the HTTP bin project. This public API returns the IP of the incoming request, so it should return the IP of the proxy server. The snippet of the Node.js script will be this. Execute the script and it should log this. Warning. Free proxy services are unreliable, slow, error-prone, data-greedy, and short-lived. Avoid them. The solution? Premium proxies from BrightData, the best provider in the market. You can find a link in the description box below. SOX proxies. If you try to set up the SOX string in the protocol field in the proxy config object, you will get the following error. That error occurs because Axios does not natively support SOX proxies. Thus, you need an extra dependency to achieve the desired result. Add the SOX proxy agent npm library to your project's dependencies with the following command. Then, import the SOX proxy agent implementation from the library. Or, if you are an ESM user, try this. Suppose this is the URL of your SOX proxy. Note that the proxy protocol can be one of the values SOX, SOX5, SOX4. Store it in a variable and pass it to the SOX proxy agent constructor. You can now use a SOX proxy with Axios as follows. You can now put it all together like this. Dealing with proxy authentication. To allow only paying users access to premium proxies, proxy providers protect them with authentication. Trying to connect an authenticated proxy without a username and password will result in a 407 proxy authentication required error. To deal with proxy authentication in Axios, you only need to specify the username and password and the auth field of proxy. If you are instead a proxy agents user, you have two ways to deal with authentication. Add their credentials directly in the proxy URL, or two, set the username and password options in a URL object. The same approaches also work with HTTPS proxy agent. Another way to configure a proxy globally in Axios is by setting the following environment variables. For example, set them on Linux or Mac OS with the commands below. When Axios detects these environment variables, it reads for them the proxy settings, including the credentials for authentication. Set the proxy field to false to make the Axios ignore those environment variables. 
Keep in mind that you can also define a noproxy ENV as a comma separated list of domains that should not be proxied. Implementing rotating proxies. If you use the same proxy server a lot of times, the target site will eventually block its IP address. To prevent that, it is essential to ensure that each request you perform originates from a different proxy server. A straightforward method to achieve that is as follows. Define a list of objects, each containing the information to connect to a different proxy. Randomly select a proxy object before each request. Configure the selected proxy in Axios. The above approach assumes that you have access to a pool of reliable proxy servers. Acquiring access to many servers can cost you a lot of money and fees. Plus, integrating that logic into your code can be cumbersome and boilerplate. This is where Bright Data steps in, offering rotating proxies that automatically switch IP addresses for you. You will gain access to proxies that supply a fresh IP address each time you connect. These proxy servers are accessible in 195 countries, have exceptional network uptime, and guarantee a success rate of 99.9%. .9%. Give Bright Data's rotating proxies a try. Conclusion. In this tutorial, you learned why and how to use proxies with Axios. We covered setting up HTTP slash HTTPS slash SOX proxies, dealing with authentication and implementing rotating proxies. Leveraging Bright Data's proxy services ensures enhanced anonymity and reliable web scraping. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, happy scraping.